channel if you haven't been here before my name is Rita and um, so today I am going to be sharing something that I think is very interesting very very interesting so recently I have been talking to my mom um, about um, these apartments that are popping up in her neighborhood or well, not popping up but um, so my mom has been concerned that there is a 300 a 300 unit apartment complex, this mega complex that is being built in her area. Now, um, she is not comfortable with it. She lives in a very residential area. It is a, a very nice suburb and mostly homeowners. The only apartments that you will really find in this area are for like seniors, you know, 55 and older, older or something like that, but not just like apartments everywhere. Mostly, like I said, it's home ownership and even like some, a few farms as well, like a few um, farms and yeah, anything. I mean, greenhouses, stuff like that. Anyway, so she's been very concerned and she has expressed, been expressing this concern for a while now. Every, almost every time I talk to her, she's like, yeah, they're building these apartments and I just, I, I don't know. And they start building this thing, I'm moving because she just doesn't like the idea. She doesn't know who's gonna be there. And so I asked her, I'm like, well, do you know what kind of tenants, like who's moving in? Is this some kind of subsidized housing situation? Is this, what is this? So she, you know, did some research, checked around, talked to some people. And, you know, of course they are saying it's gonna be some luxury apartments, right? Um, so it got me thinking though, right? It got me thinking about the demographics, the voting demographics of homeowners versus renters, right? So I did a little bit of digging because I, I started thinking like, why after all this time, why this push to start building apartments? Because not only in her suburb, but there is a suburb near that's not too far from her where they had a few apartments here and there, but now it seems like they're building more and more. They're even putting like a, a big, another, um, in the town next to her, another big multi-unit apartment complex as well. So I'm like, why, I am I keep thinking, you know, she's telling me about all this. I'm like, what is actually going on here? Like, why, why is it, what is happening? Now, I will tell you, my mom lives in a swing state, which is, also what got me thinking about the demographics between voters and homeowners. So I did a little bit of digging, not even hard, but here's what I found. So according to apartmentlist.com, renter voices are underrepresented in American politics. Renters are less likely than homeowners to be voting eligible. And even among eligible voters, just 49% of renters cast a ballot in 2016 compared to 67% of homeowners. Renters are significantly more likely to lean left. Among homeowners, President Trump beat Hillary Clinton in 2016 election by a margin of six percentage points, but Clinton won the renter vote by a staggering 30 percentage points. We estimate that if renter voter turnout had matched homeowner voter turnout in 2016, Hillary Clinton would have won four key swing states, Florida, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin, leading to an electoral college victory of 307 to 231. Now, I will tell you, my mom does live in one of these states. So, how, how is this happening? How are all of these apartments seemingly being erected in, you know, um, affluent areas, out, seemingly out of nowhere? Well, I will tell you something. There is an infrastructure plan, if not already being implemented near you, it is on its way to your neighborhood. Multi-unit apartment buildings are popping up all over her state in these small towns and in these um, affluent suburbs. This, my friends, is how they're gonna flip the states. So I just thought it was interesting and I thought these findings were interesting. I kind of had my suspicions about renters versus, versus homeowners, um, just, you know, in general, I kind of had my suspicions, but this article, I mean, obviously this isn't the end all be all, um, but 
this article does kind of validate my suspicions. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a fantastic week and I uh, will talk to you soon. Ciao.